Okay guys, this is a quick screencast to help you automate some of the work you've been doing in the command prompt. Now you should know before we get started that if you take all these commands that you've been running, such as um, docker build, docker run, the prune command, the kill command, if you put them together into a text file, and you preface the text file with a certain command and you make the text file executable that you can actually run the text file like a script right from your command prompt and every command listed in the file will actually be executed just as if you had entered it at the command prompt yourself so to begin with what we want to do is we want to edit a new file and i'm going to use nano to do this and i'm going to call it how about build deploy container.sh. So we can call this anything. You just want to have a descriptive name that you'll remember in the future. So we go into nano to edit the file and I'm going to grab off my clipboard a little command we put at the top. Uh, it's also it's often called the shebang and it's basically a declaration at the top of your file that says hey this is a bash script bash being the command prompt environment that we work in and what you should find in it is commands that can be executed at the command prompt. So one of the first things we'd normally do is we would go ahead and kill off our container. So we can put in the docker kill command. The next thing we can do is put in the prune command to clean things up. So I'll put that in here. And then after that, you probably want to rebuild and then run your actual container. Now, of course, we have to be in a certain folder to do this. So up here above the commands where I actually run this, I would like to change directory to my Docker container directory. And mine is stored in Docker Apache PHP. Now, one thing you should know is this will only work if the docker apache php folder is in your current directory i.e your home directory so if we want we can add in a tilde slash which means from our home directory change directory to the docker apache php folder so now we're going to take this and we're going to save it so i'm going to write it out and then i'm going to exit and now we have to take this file that we just created and make it executable we're going to use the schmod or change mode command and we want to say that the user is now allowed to execute this file so change mode setting the user adding the permission to execute and then we put the name of the file so build deploy container.sh so if i make that change now if we list the file you'll notice it shows up in green meaning it's an executable file in addition, over on the left, you'll see that there is an X next to it, indicating that the user can execute this file. No one else can, the user can, but not anyone else. So to execute this file, we just type dot slash, which means in the current directory, find this file and execute it. So if I press enter, you'll notice that it moves to my directory. It then runs the build command for me, and it's going to then deploy or run the new container all in one command. And we don't have to go back through our command history to actually execute these commands. So you can see that we're still back in our home directory at the end of executing it. And you can see that it's actually launched a new instance and there's the ID for it. So if I type docker ps, you'll see that it's running. So that concludes a, a quick tutorial on how you can actually automate a particular set of commands.